Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. So we're starting the vlog off with some cakes. Kareem has baked some cakes and some strawberry campote for my mother's friend, longtime friend, Auntie Donette. My mom asked Kareem to make a cake for her after she tasted the one he had made before. And what's special about this cake is that it's actually gluten-free, so I can actually eat it. So he did make a sample cake for me to try, as you can see. Really good texture. I'm impressed. And here he has sliced the cakes because he's going to stack them. So this is what the final cake looks like. He has stacked it. It's kind of like a naked cake. Now let's see if he can cover it with this ginormous tall dome. <laughs> you scared? No, I'm being stopped. Why? Why are you stopped? Because, because it's not centered. So I feel like I'm gonna have some resistance. Really? Yeah. Keep going. I'm gonna shave uh -oh. the cape. Uh-oh, let's see. Maybe, no, it's going, it's going. Just adds to the decor. <laughs> it's just the cream is getting in the way a little bit, but that's fine. It's fine. You made it. You made it. Kind of. You just have to shift it maybe a little bit as you go. I don't know. Yeah, because, you did uh, your best. More... So now that he's got the cake in the dome secured, he will deliver it to Auntie Donnet, who is visiting Nana here in uh, North Carolina. So Auntie Donnet is coming from New York City. She is Jamaican. We have known her since we were small. We actually met her in Nigeria. That's how far back we go. I'm not shy. Oh, see, great. We like people like her. I am. <laughs> so this is Donnet. So you wanna hear about me? <laughs> Let me introduce myself. Yeah, introduce I'm yourself. <laughs> Her auntie by uh, friendship with her <laughs> mama. So I was trying to tell you about this app right here. It's called Tubi. What is that? Tubi. Oh, Tubi. I've seen that before, yes. but I don't know what so it is. So you download this app and you search for. Why did I forget you? It doesn't matter. You search for Sub Spiral, the movie one and two. Subspiral. Subspiral the movie. Spell one. it. S U B S P I R A L. The movie. One and two. I was big in one. I only have one scene in two, but that was great. Oh wow. Oh <laughs> I didn't wow. Say so myself. <laughs> and you're not an actress by profession, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> by training and profession, I'm a teacher. Right. But I was a legal secretary. <laughs> she was a legal secretary. And many things. And many things. Many, many things, things, right. And she never retired. I no. believe, like me, you don't believe in retirement then. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> One has to stay young and relevant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the problem with this, this California this is that the earthquakes are regular. Right. You know, like Jamaica gets little quakes, right? But not regular, right? And it doesn't do anything. And when we used to have the big ones, they were big ones, right? But they were far, they weren't like this. Had been to get a lorry, it's so hot. Wasabi. Oh, the wasabi, wasabi. I love wasabi. Oh. Well, you can try to any of the stuff that's here, you should eat some of it. It clears your it clears up when it goes up, it's like your head just <laughs> opens up, like boom. <laughs> For me, it's a no, right? It's a no, you know. Right. When they left them, they left them. It's green, right? It looks like it's green. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like green to you. It was that. Oh, it's green too. Do you want to eat it? No, thank you. Oh my God. Donut's cake is frozen. Yeah, you got to open it up. No, it's all right because it's frozen to the bottom, stuck to the frosting. And the side too. But you think by morning it will come out? Yeah. 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 I am so disappointed. <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to me. me. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Why are you going there? Happy birthday to me. The cake froze. 
<laughs> you can't even open. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Grandpa you know, was no, I'm not. And Khalid, the oldest, isn't. He can eat was. shrimp and everything, but these two couldn't. We found out as babies. They were gonna be blind shots. came through. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was yes, so I bet it was her. Sister. Jada, is that her name? Yeah, Jada Pickett. Jada Pickett? No, that's no, not her name. It's just Jada. Jada? Tell her to sit. So you're probably wondering, whose dog is this? Because this is not our dog. I'll be the first to say this is not my dog. But why is she in my house? Well, because son number two, Kareem, decided that he wanted to get an animal, a dog particularly, from one of the private shelters. So this is a shelter dog that he is babysitting, that he has agreed to babysit because he loves animals. I'm kind of mm, about it, but we are going on our trip. So this happened before our trip to Charlotte. She can't sit. She wants to sit. Jada don't know how to sit. What if he was in like a Spanish household, you know? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes they only respond to English. Maybe that's fine. So Jada don't speak English. <laughs> But she knows her name. She's curious. I mean, she's not dumb. Yeah, no, I had her walk around the house. Oh, really? Yeah, she's not dumb. She, because she understood, come to me. But she don't know how to sit. One, yeah, it's not too cold, right? No. So the, the shelter give them the crate? Oh, okay, and but I bet Kareem put the blankets in, right? Uh, Daddy, did. Daddy did, yeah. Looks like something he would do. To be honest, this dog was giving off a lot of sadness. There's something about the energy that made me feel sad. Like, I literally did not sleep well while the dog was there because I felt sad for the dog, and I didn't want to bond with it. And then the other thing is the dog never barked. Is that normal? Like, the dog literally did not bark the whole weekend. So previously I showed you how we went to Charlotte because I specifically wanted to go to the Chanel store because in the Raleigh area we don't have a Chanel boutique and I don't know, it's crazy. North Carolina only has one Chanel boutique and it happens to be in Charlotte. So that's where we went. Anyway, I had a great experience trying the perfumes, looking at all the designer bags, and I picked up something, and then we ended up staying overnight at the Bohemian Hotel, which was also really nice. Really enjoyed the skyline. Charlotte has a beautiful skyline. It was just so nice to be out doing something different. Anyway, that vlog was kind of long, so I did not show you everything. After we left Charlotte, we headed back home and I was still recording. As you can see, the traffic was really bad. We were moving really slowly and we thought it was just due to the Memorial Weekend traffic, but it was also because there was an accident ahead. You know, it was raining that day. There was a lot of people on the road. Just look at this, look at this. I had to freeze the frame for you to see. Hmm, be careful out there, wow. people, be careful. Anyway, we're back on the road and traffic is moving a lot better now. All right, so we just had a quick lunch, forgot to vlog. But yeah, it was interesting trying to find a place to eat. <laughs> Um, between Charlotte and the Raleigh area, there's a lot of small towns. And let me tell you, 
it is interesting because you feel like you step back in time in some of these places. Um, can you tell about the little diner we went to first? It's just a little diner. Sometimes, you know, you find yourself off the road. Yeah, off off the road. And you're uh, like, just what? Just off the road, off the you know, main highway. Mm -hmm. You know, you say, okay, you know, you, know, you look up on Google. Oh, well, there's a little family diner and you find it. And yeah, it's like back 1950s like literally 1950s when we drove up to the parking lot and i saw the little uh front the front looked like an a uh, front looked like a house straight out of the 1950s yeah. what's that wood call like the paneling the dark paneling the ceiling is super low the first other sign was at the door it said cash only all right, cash only, but it said, hey, we do have an ATM. So we step inside, and it was literally all white people. Now, in our area, that is different for us because it's a very, we're used to very diverse. Um, I mean, we used to live in a small town, so we totally understand or get it or we're accustomed to it. But when you haven't done that for so many years and you walk into a place and the people look different, and what I mean is, it was almost like they were, I wouldn't say Amish. I don't really think they were Amish or anything like that. They just stared at us. Let's put it that way. They, they look like people that I would have seen on a movie set from 1960 or 1950. I'm not sure. But um, we sat down and unfortunately, uh, they, their ATM was not working. So and we didn't have cash. We only had a card, so we could not, we sat down, but we had to get up and leave after talking to the waitress. Yeah, so um, it's not that it's like, oh, because oh, it's all white people. The issue is that if you walk in and they immediately stop, just like it's like right. a movie, my cousin Vinny, they just stop and they right. stare at you because you're a mixed couple. we're different. And, right, obviously, yeah, we're very, yeah. We're, I mean, there was not one person of color in there, not one. And when I say of color, I don't mean black. I mean Hispanic, I mean Indian, I mean and anything else and but also it's not just that they weren't in there, it's that their reaction shows right. you that they're not used to seeing They're not used to also right, seeing and even interacting with people from Right. From different And it's just I don't know why that felt sort of shocking again because we're literally like an hour from Charlotte at the time. And you're like, wait, don't these people shop? Don't these people get out? Don't they see? I, I, I don't know. It was, it was, it was definitely different. <laughs> and all the buildings there, that was the clue. Should have told us. I mean, things in that area look like they have not been touched since 1960. And they like it that way. Um, yeah. It didn't feel comfortable for us. And probably, I don't know, maybe it was uncomfortable for them. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is we had to go find somewhere else to eat. So, so the, you know, the bottom line is that there's, there's places for everybody. There, there's just some places that ain't for us. <laughs> That's all. Even in 2023. Well, you know, but again, that's that, you know, that's that's what that's part of, you know, diverse America is just can't have it all, right? So, just so you know, though, uh, if, if if a lot of times these diners, if they're just one name, <laughs> right? Person's first name and the word diner after it. <laughs> double check real quick but otherwise we had a great weekend right i mean great one one day two day yeah yeah just get away a little bit right do something different you know right we're going back to the grind so you know, sometimes you just gotta also spend a little quality time together right so <laughs> what are you i don't know <laughs> I don't know. Are you blushing, Kenton? No, yeah, so it's, a, it's, the, it's the rain. You got your mojo back? I ain't getting nothing back. <laughs> yeah, talking about. No, I'm just no, kidding. No, Ken got his mojo. You can get my mojo. <laughs> anyway, so we're heading back home. And we left, it was raining. 
but we arrived it was raining and we're going back home and it's still raining on our way home we decided to stop at this designer outlet mall we always drive by and have never stopped at one of these so i wanted to see what they had this was one of those discounted designer goods place so they had like michael kors valentino carl that has to do with chanel carl lagerfeld oh, designer for chanel probably. yeah no he passed actually i would like it in black it's like this is what you would call up a, a wallet on chain <laughs> yeah. All right, for real? Yeah, I would do this bag. It's loud, it's me. But it's it was kind of cheapy. Mm, it's not bad. I will say the prices were a little lower than buying directly from the designer, so this is definitely discounted. This is cute, right? This Versace backpack handbag. But overall, the bags, the quality is a little bit lower than what you would get if you bought directly from the designer. They did have some cute shoes, um, not really in my size. Um, some of them were a little too flat. Uh, this one's not bad though, this one's not bad, this Michael Kors sandal right not bad now these pink espadrilles is that how you say it espadrilles they're kind of ugly to me i don't know not my style but for somebody else they might be cute these pumps are kind of cute they're kind of satin not very practical but i like the color and what about these polka dots these polka dots with the little kitten heel they're very practical and quite cute tory birch I didn't see anything worth buying, so we ended up going to the specific designer outlet stores. So this is in Michael Kors, and these bags are kind of cute, right? Very dainty. Kenton's teasing me that this bag is so small, the only thing I can put in there is a sandwich. <laughs> I would have wished you could have heard, but the music was playing so loud, so I don't want to get demonetized. That one's cute That's too, right? Still in Michael Kors, here are some very spring-inspired, what they call camera bags. Nice pop of color for your simple summer attire. Ooh, I really liked these sneakers. They're kind of stylish, but they also remind me of my grandma with all the gold. What do you think? I don't know. They look cool, right? And they look comfortable. But I don't think I can justify the price. And then here are some bucket bags, also by Michael Kors. Cute, and they look practical. The black is not bad, but so is the light green or sage. So now we're going to Coach. And I like Coach. I have several Coach bags because I consider them affordable designer. Heart bags are always trendy. Louis Vuitton, Chanel, they all make them. Kate Spade, Coach. Um, and Coach and Kate Spade, I would say, are a lot more affordable. And this is cute, right? It's kind of cute, but I'm not sure about the size. So then there's this tote bag, which is pretty neutral and functional. I like the gold hardware. Let's see what else they have. Oh, look how adorable these little charms are. My grandfather would say, one dog have money, I'm go buy a gold teeth. <laughs> Meaning we waste our money on useless things. This is purely for aesthetics but it's cute and then um, pointing out to Kenton look how much cheaper their wallets are of course compared to Chanel um, and this bag is also really cute and everything is like 50% off that's how they get you yeah Lou look at this she's cute isn't she cute you can't tell but it's actually a really small bag but I like the shape it's giving very sort of vintage ladylike what do you think 
Yeah, you should definitely check out Coach online if you can't get to the stores. And you can also check out their outlet site. You can get things a lot cheaper. So Kenton and I got home and I have frozen the picture here for you to see what I see. Now, here's the thing. I am half African. And also, I'm in the phase of my life where even though I like animals, I don't particularly want a dog in my house right now. And I definitely do not approve of a dog on my couch. But, you know, I have a soft spot for Kareem and he is a very gentle, loving person. So the African mother in me is just going to have to shove it inside and keep my mouth quiet as much as possible. So let me just show you what I actually said. <laughs> Kareem, there's a dog on my couch. And she seems very comfortable there as if she lives here. She don't live here. She's on vacation. She's on vacation. She yeah. better get out of my house. She'll be on. But she, she won't even, she'll be gone by the time you wake up. Tomorrow, right? Yeah. No, so now you're spoiling her, really, because now she's going to go back to whatever. That's the point. That's what they said. So yeah, but then it's kind of sad that she's got to go back to whatever well, sad situation she's in. Well, they're not torturing her. <laughs> she's making it sound as if she's being tortured. Let me go downstairs. I can smell bread. My son has made bread. I can smell it. It's already 85 degrees outside. And uh, let's go see what Kareem is up to. So I have never made bread before. I've never made regular bread. But I think I showed you in a previous vlog that Kareem made regular bread. And I was like, oh, I wonder if they're making gluten-free bread, if there's a recipe. So he must have looked it up and made it. And what I like is the fact that it also uses yeast. Because sometimes a lot of the gluten-free stuff doesn't taste anything like the regular stuff but by using yeast which turns out is okay for me um, it's going to or should taste like bread and it should have a crust so anyway let's go see I need to have a cup of tea anyway say hello to the people <laughs> you've been studying what are you studying just give me a little synopsis. What are you studying? Synopsis? Is that the right word? Synopsis. Synopsis. S synopsis is what I'm trying to use. <laughs> uh, Connections in your brain. Right, yeah. yeah. No, I'll just, uh, just doing a mini review of real property. Oh, so, property. Yeah, so just reviewing co tenancy, tenancies in common, rights, and uh, responsibilities of tenants, and stuff like that. Mm, let's see. He's even got, you know, decor set up. Look at that. He's got a little fish and a little orchid. What's your fishy's name? <laughs> Earl. Earl? Earl Jr. Now, is all that green stuff intentional? Yes, yeah, plants. I guess it's plants, huh? Yeah, it's live plants. Ah, and he's got the pretty orchid. Mm. So, see, Kenton has a little bit of a green thumb, too. Let me go in there and see. I can't really see too much. Oh, you got light too. Oh, we see you, Earl. We see you, Earl. It's a red one. Yeah. Nice. So do you find it calming? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let me leave you. I told everybody you made bread for me. Kareem says I'm not going to like it. Why won't I like it? Wait, this is the starter, right? Is that what this is? It was. It was. And then this looks like dough. That was from our dough. Oh, that was from your dough? Oh, you made yourself some bread too? Oh, well, yeah. So, yeah, I see bread in the background. So that one's not mine? No, all of it. All right, let me go see. Let me go see. So which one is which one is mine? I mean, this looks like bread. This looks nice. I assume this is my gluten-free bread then. But I mean, as long as it tastes okay, it doesn't really look like bread bread, but it doesn't taste like bread to you? You tried it? 
I'll try it. I don't know. It kind of looks, I mean, uh, I don't know. I'll have to taste it. But you know what's funny? Is last night I was craving pancakes. So it's funny that you made pancakes. Are these, are these gluten free? Yeah. Maybe they are? Cool. Yeah, I was literally thinking about pancakes last night. Banana pancakes or plain? Apple. Apple? Apple? Apple pancakes. Interesting. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not your fault. Gluten free flour never really gets dark. Let me go ahead and try. It doesn't taste right to you? Oh my lord. I mean, it's cutting like bread. It's cutting like bread. You know, it's got the same spongy nature. Let me try it. No, no, Kareem, it tastes like bread to me. For someone who's not had bread in years, it tastes like bread to me. Honestly, it is spongy. It's got a touch of salt. Did you put any salt in there? Just whatever it says. Right. No, it's, it tastes like bread. It just, I mean, it definitely tastes better than the um, gluten-free crap that they sell in the store. And it's acting like bread. I feel like maybe it needed to uh, bake longer or dry out more. I don't know. I went a little extra. You did go because a little I extra? I put it in before. I put it in before I put those other two. In. Yeah. No, it tastes fine to me. I mean, with a little butter, even better. Typically, anything gluten-free baked is always pale. So honestly, I'm not surprised, but it really does taste like bread, at least for someone who hasn't had bread in years. I am happy. Kareem did a good job. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what your favorite part of this vlog was. And we're thinking about going on another trip soon, or at least after he passes the bar. Well, I don't even know passes the bar, but at least after he takes the bar because you don't know for a while even after you take the bar you're not gonna know or he's not gonna know so where should we go we haven't figured out or decided what where we were thinking you know Vietnam but Vietnam sounds uh, we looked up it's quite expensive it is as as ex Wow I can't speak expensive it is as expensive as going to Nigeria um, so we were thinking maybe Greece or maybe, yeah, Greece. Where else did we say? Uh, China Grove, North Carolina. No, maybe uh, Jamaica or uh, if we stay in the country, we were thinking maybe Las Vegas. But I don't know how I feel about Las Vegas. But I know. Oh, you know where else we were thinking? Hawaii. We've uh, both Hawaii. never been to Hawaii. And I think that would be nice for both of us. So comment below what you think, where we should go, and if you have any recommendations. Bye! <laughs>so pretty it almost looks fake but it's real right mm -hmm. yes of course it's real okay. but i'm gonna take it to new york <laughs> 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 the ladies are in hats mm.